Arizona parents have several different types of schools to choose from. You can send your kids to a public district school, or to a public charter school, a private school, or your kids can go to what's called an alternative schools. These schools are meant for Arizona's so-called at-risk students, which is supposed to include those who have a history of disruptive behavior, have dropped out of school and are coming back, are in poor academic standing, have a history of legal problems, are wards of the state, or are financially responsible for another family member, often teen parents. An alternative school has to have 70% or more of these students. But we found that's not always the case. Over the past three years, the Arizona Department of Education did not reject any of the 180 schools that applied to be alternative, even when some schools didn't meet the state's required threshold. And alternative schools are booming. Since 2010, the number of Arizona students in alternative charter schools has increased by nearly 40%. We investigated these schools and found that the state system allows failing schools to hide behind the alternative label. Just 26% of students at alternative charter schools graduated within four years in 2017, compared to 77% of students at traditional charters and 88% at traditional district schools. Alternative school leaders say it's because this population will naturally perform worse than their traditional school peers. But it's hard to tell. In the state system, there's little to keep the schools accountable. Alternative schools haven't received letter grades in years. That means prospective parents are left in the dark about how students are performing, and it makes it hard to choose a school. Alternative charters are also spending more of the state's money on administrative costs than traditional charters. Nearly 25% of the money spent by alternative charters goes to administrative costs compared to 21% at traditional charters and 10% at district schools. But the state is making some changes for alternatives. For one, the State Board of Ed just approved a new grading system for alternative schools. Grades will come out in the fall. Kathy Hoffman, Superintendent of Education, also told us she is open to looking more closely at alternative schools. In the meantime, parents, you have more than 100 alternative schools to choose from. You can find college going rates, test scores, and more to help you decide at AZ Data Central.